Hi and welcome to this tutorial um, where I'm going to show you how to easily route your Roborock S50 with any pre-prepared um, image or install any uh, downloaded image um, just with this or with any Android um, device. Um, the process itself may look different uh, depending on your version, your brand, um, but it's all so, so the process is always the same. Um, the whole installing process um, is consistent of three major steps. One is uh, prepare the um, Android tablet, like uh, uh, install the specific application, download and install. Second step is uh, factory reset your Roborock, and third step is install the image. Um, you may want, if you want to, to skip uh, or to jump to the specific position, just go ahead and click the links below. Okay, so first things first. Uh, First thing is you have to um, allow your Android device to install any application from an unknown uh, non-Play Store location. This is most of the time um, uh, hidden in the settings, in the security range, uh, and you just have to click on allow installation from unknown sources. Uh, this is already done here, so the checkbox is already blue with a check. Um, if it's not like that, you have to modify that. Okay. Next. Um, next thing is, at first we have to just download the application. For that you can go to Google or click the link in the description below. Um, and you are searching for XDA, X firmware, Roborock. And this should just open in Google, the first um, entry, but I'll, I'll post the link below. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to download the file and just uh, host it for you. Just use this from the developer himself and all the credits go to the developer of this application. You can just go there. You need a minimum of Android 4.4 or iOS 8 or something. Um, as I'm not aware with the Android stuff, uh, with the um, Apple stuff, uh, I'll just go with the Android uh, version. Okay, so whatever. Yeah, go. Okay, so you are allowed to download or uh, you can download the zip version. So it's compressed and you have to download it and uncompress it next. But I'm just go, going for a download. I'll wait for that. Okay, already downloaded. I just click on open. And it opens with Total Commander. I've already pre-installed Total Commander. Um, if it, it may look different, but I, I, I just recommend you use Total Commander instead of any zip unzipping or file browsing application. It's pretty, pretty neat. Okay, I, could, I can just click on the application and unpack and open with and then he's going to ask me if I'm if I want to install it as it just detects that it's an APK which is an uh, installable package from Android and I'm going to install that okay perfect just click on open everything works fine I suggest I hope <laughs> okay here we go this is UI nothing special uh, we can just close that and then next thing to do is, so we have the application installed, but we want also the image. Um, and I recommend you, because this is what I'm personally using, this is Valitudo RE. But it's just a personal flavor. You can also go with Valitudo, the, the um, first version or the um, root origin version. Um, I think there's just a personal flavor. Okay, um, the Valetudo site, and they also uh, or they they um, offer you a pre-built image with a, which is rooted and which is um, containing Valetudo and everything, yeah, properly conf configured. So I'll just click on the release on the latest one. This is uh, zero dot ten zero uh, zero point ten point um, point seven. And then you just go ahead with the version you want, you are, you desire. So if you have a Gen 2, uh, you have to go with a, a 20 something. If you have a Gen 1, you want to go for the 40 something. Um, so I'll, but it's, it's almost every time written in the text above. So just read it carefully and then download the specific version. Um, and be prepared. So you have two files. One is, um, big and dot pkg. And one is small.md5. You want to go for the PKG version because this is a real bundle and the MD5 is just the hash sum that uh, nothing got corrupted during the transfer. So I'm going for the PKG. PKG. Sorry, I'm going just to download that. 
and I have to wait a bit. But you can, yeah, you, as I said, you can really go with any version you, you want to use. Just try them out. I think this process is pretty simple. If you had already installed the, the um, Android application, it's just downloading the image and just go ahead with that. Okay, fine. So now we can just uh, uh, place the tablet somewhere else and we are going for the um, process of the Roborock. So here I go. This is a Roborock I'm, I want to root. I just um, press the on button, the power button and wait a couple of seconds. Okay, here we go. So, uh, for the factory reset is pretty important that it's not on the docking station, um, but the process is as a following. We have to press the home button and hold it while we are pressing the reset button which is just here. So for the recent button, we need something um, sharp. Let me go with this one, like a needle or something else. So I press the home button and I press reset, pretty short, and I keep holding the home button until it just says me, okay, I'm going to reset. Now it's the um, main button is flashing. Storing the initial version. It will take about five minutes. Okay, Please be patient. this is what we are going to do and we just leave the robot by himself here. So that's it. The robot is back up again. And now we can just go ahead and press any button Starting the and it just start. Okay, so now it's factory, it's, it just received the factory reset. Um, so all we need to do now is take back our tablet, power it on. Let's play with this. And I will shut on the lamp again, so you see the LEDs. Okay, um, here we go. So now next step is just connect um, using Wi-Fi to your um, to the Roborock. It, yeah, if you if it's just booted and you um, power it on, uh, it will just create an an open, not saved um, access point like this one, which is called. A Roborock, just click on that, and then the whole thing gets connected. Okay, so now it says I'm connected to the Roborock um, wireless network. And then, a uh, fun, fun thing is, you can just go to the um, X-Vacuum firmware application, go there, and wait a second. Uh, maybe we have to close it first because I opened it previously just to force it loading again. Okay, here we go. Now you see the token. And the token is uh, the um, unique generated, um, yeah, let's say it's just a token. So it's a combination of letters and, and numbers. And this is how it, um, yeah, how it identifies, uh, identifies uh, on the um, Xiaomi servers. So, uh, now we are connected to the Roborock, everything works, we just got the token, so we could flash a sound or flash a firmware. I am not going to flash a sound, I will do that on the um, UI later on, but I'm going to flash the firmware. So click the flash firmware button, and then you have to navigate to your previously download, and um, I downloaded this version, I think this was the latest one, and now it's going Please to... Please charge your vacuum. Try updating after the vacuum is at least 20% charged. Okay, as you heard, uh, flashing the firmware requires the Roborock being on the docking station. So this uh, error message is, let's say, error knows. So it's charged, it's fully charged. 
um, or let's say almost fully charged, but it's it has to be placed on the docking station. So it will not work if it's not on the docking station. So I'll just go ahead and place it on the docking station. Charging. Here we go. And I'll now just do the same. Flash firmware. Download. Here we go. Now you see the LED is flashing and the state is downloading. Now you will see a lot of attempts and a lot of commands scrolling through. But it's not so you can have a look at that. But basically, it just does it just does flash the whole Roborock. So it's now downloading, um, and after a while, it will just say, "Okay, installing the firmware. Please pay. Please be patient, and you have to be patient. So don't interrupt your charging process. Don't do anything on the Roborock. Just give it time, um, and just wait." <laughs> So here we go, the firmware, update complete. as he said, the update is complete and now we are already again connected to the Wi-Fi connection so we can go to the beautiful web interface um, the Roborock just offers us now. So we can go to the IP address, just type it to the search bar or the address bar 192.168.1.1 eight dot one and it's so it's it's um all the time it's just the same ip address because it's not connected to the wi-fi till now if it's connected to the proper wireless Ah, actually it's not, okay. So let's just switch to the Roborock Wi-Fi. And now we can see the beautiful web interface. Here we go. Here we go. Just to be properly set, you can also click the find. Hi, I'm over here. And the Roborock is done. So next thing you could do is just go to settings, Wi-Fi, and add your uh, wireless network connection credentials here, and then you're done. Then the Roborock, the rooted Roborock, is in your local network. So if you have questions, just type them below. Uh, I cannot mm, go into all the details for all all the Android versions, but this is the process how it looks without any Raspberry Pi or stuff like that. Just install this application. All the credits go to the developer of this beautiful uh, application, which is Hack, one member of the XDA uh, forum. Um, thank you for that. If you want to support him, just send him money or something else, or just um, write him your your best regards. So big shout out to him. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I am not re not responsible for any failures in this process. It may happen, of course, as uh, always, if you flash something. So. Please be patient, be cautious, and yeah, just have a lot of fun with your rooted Roborock S50. Thank you.